Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. This is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Hey, hey, East Alabama and West Georgia. Are you frozen this morning? <laughs> it is brutally cold out there this morning. I want to remind you, today is the final day for Magic on Main. They open at noon today and run through 5 o'clock this afternoon. They are going to be giving away free skating uh, in 30-minute blocks. So if you haven't had a chance to go, uh, today is your day. Final day, it's free, and uh, you can enjoy beautiful downtown Roanoke while you're at it. So stop by and go ice skating today. Uh, Magic on Main will be back next fall, uh, but that'll do it for for this year's season, so make sure you stop by there today. This is your weather forecast for Saturday, January 29th, 2022, from the Alpha Weather Center. Mr. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent, give Jamie a call today. And if you look at the top of this video, you're going to see a link. You click on that link that carries you to Jamie Dukas. All you have to do is ask for an insurance quote, no obligation. And then your name is going to go in a hat once every two weeks we draw for a free Dr. Don weather app. And you also get a great uh, car refresher, a scent, one of the little things you put in your vehicle. They make those things. They're beautiful. They smell good. I've got one in my vehicle. So, uh, yeah, win-win for everybody. So be sure you click on that link, get a quote from Jamie Dukas. Your name will go in a hat for a drawing, and you could win the Dr. Don weather app in a wonderful smelling car fresher it's the alpha weather center on dr don's weather page would you look at that these are snow picks that came in from east alabama and west georgia on friday evening uh and this is called powder snow folks i had several people posting pictures of this last night saying never seen anything like this before this is the kind of snow that you get up in the upper midwest chicago i spent two years up there uh two long years up there back uh, in the late 80s and early 90s this is the kind of snow you typically see up there we normally get the big fat wet flakes down here uh, but up there, it's real dry, and so this is what you get. Dew points were very low last night, and as that cold front moved in, it was like taking a sponge and wringing out every la last little bitty bit of moisture from the atmosphere, and this is what you end up with. It's a powder snow, and that's what we had across East Alabama and West Georgia last night. A few other folks, uh, pictures for you from folks across the region. I believe this was from Woodland. This was very common on the eastern side of Randolph County. Uh, basically uh, from just north of Widawi all the way back over toward Woodland, Big Springs, Omaha, uh, and then it stretched on over into Heard County. Uh, this is also up there in Woodland last night. And uh, look at that, would you? This is Widawi. Uh, some fellas out there enjoying uh, the big blizzard of uh, Randolph County, <laughs> East Alabama and West Georgia last night. So uh, here's what happened. This is the high resolution radar at 10 p.m. last night. And you'll see that blue spot right there across uh, north central Randolph County from about Weedowie North all the way up to the Randolph County, Cleburne County line. It did stretch back over toward Delta in Clay County. And then if you look up there in Cleburne, uh, some pretty decent snow right there along I-20. And then that stretched back up into northwest Georgia. That was at 10 p.m. last night. Night. And then at 11 p.m. last night, uh, that whole area moved to the southeast right there across eastern Randolph County. And it kind of actually exploded there for just a few minutes. You had some decent snow uh, falling across the area from about Widawi all the way over to Franklin uh, and then down to the Troop County, Heard County line, Chambers County line as well. So uh, it didn't last uh, a tremendous amount of time. It was in the forecast. Noticed a lot of folks posting last night. Where'd this come from? Uh, well, <laughs> check your weather forecast because it was in the forecast. I did talk about it yesterday morning. I didn't really think uh, that there was a great chance it would happen, but it did. Uh, and uh, some of you saw some decent snow. The ground is white this morning. And where the snow fell and where it did accumulate on the roadways, it's still there this morning. 
Uh, so if you absolutely have to get out there and travel this morning, uh, please do so with extreme care. Now, we don't have accumulation everywhere across the area, so there will be spots of slick areas on the roadways across East Alabama and West Georgia. Now, the wind has been helping us out through the overnight. That'll blow some of that snow off the road. It will also help evaporate uh, some of the, the snow that's on the ground. And just as soon as we get the sunlight up this morning, that radio Radiational heating, even though it's going to be cold all day, that radiational heating from the sun coupled with the wind should get that snow off the roadways pretty quick uh, after sunrise this morning. So if it is bad in your area, conditions should be improving pretty quick uh, this morning. But it's going to be a cold day. 37 is the best we'll do in Roanoke. 37 also in Ashland, Lineville, Wedowie. 36 up in Ranburn. We'll go to 42 over in LaGrange. 39 in Dadeville. And we'll top out at 39 degrees up in Talladega this afternoon. Don't forget to check out our fast forecast over on Instagram, your weather forecast in 60 seconds or less. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go over to YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and then click on the bell so that we'll go live for severe weather or winter weather. You'll be sure to get that push notification. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. For today, mostly sunny, maybe a few clouds out there this morning. 37 will be your afternoon high. We won't get above freezing probably until 10 or 11 o'clock this morning. But as soon as the sun comes up, if you have snow in your area, uh, that radiational heating from the sun will take care of it. Now, almost as cold tonight as what we saw last night, 23 will be your overnight low. The difference is we won't have the wind to deal with tonight as we had last night, so your wind chill factors won't be quite as bad. On Sunday, the big warm-up begins. We're talking bathing suit weather right here. 55 on Sunday afternoon, down to 30 on Sunday night. Monday, 60 degrees in the afternoon, and by the time Tuesday gets here, we'll hit 62. But you know, when we get that warm this time of year, it rains right around the corner. So that's what's going to happen. Maybe after midnight Tuesday night, our next storm system starts to approach from the west. A 30% chance of rain giving away to a 60% chance of showers. On Wednesday, a clap of thunder can't be ruled out. And on Thursday, a 70% chance of showers, maybe even a thunderstorm, 62, will be your afternoon high. Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD Radar this morning. Uh, we've got uh, several products on the screen for you. First of all, I'll point out that moisture up there around Jacksonville, North Carolina, uh, right there along the Outer Banks. Uh, we see a few snow showers making it all the way to the Atlantic Ocean this morning. Right there where North Carolina and South Carolina come together. That's pretty crazy. Snowing on the beach up there this morning. Uh, but no precipitation across East Alabama or West Georgia. We had a few echo returns just to the east of Columbus a couple of hours ago, but that has since moved away. So what you're looking at is our temperature profile this morning. And I just wanted to show you, we've got uh, just a few temperatures around the area. Uh, currently 27 degrees in Atlanta, up there in Decatur, it's 32. 29 in most locations across East Alabama. Uh, get down there around Columbus, we've also got 29 degrees. Yeah, a little warmer back over here in Mississippi. And you get back over into uh, Louisiana, we're up in the upper 30s across the region. Uh, so it is going to be a cold, raw day. Your temperatures won't warm up a whole lot today, maybe mid to upper 30s is the best we will see for the remainder of the day don't forget to follow us on youtube it's at dstren 1040 and uh, that's actually twitter we want you to go to twitter and follow us there <laughs> we post all of our weather information over on twitter as well as on facebook and the youtube also drdonwx.com where you can download our brand new weather app you can also send us a donation if you'd like to support us, and you can click on that more button and go down and download the Mixler app, and you'll be able to listen to God's country anywhere in the whole wide world as long as you have that internet access. Folks, again, don't forget, we're going to be giving away our brand new weather app. All you have to do is click on the alpha link at the top of this page that carries you to Jamie Dukas. You ask for a quote, and your name automatically goes into a drawing. We will draw once every two weeks. 
and give away Dr. Don's weather app right here on Dr. Don's Weather. But you got to go to the alpha link in this video. Click on it so you can sign up uh, for a quote from Jamie, Jamie Dukas. Now, there is uh, nothing required. Uh, there's no obligation. All you have to do is get that quote. He can probably save you some money, too. All right, so y'all have a fantastic rest of your day. We thank those folks you see scrolling on the screen there for supporting Dr. Don's Weather. If you get a chance, please stop in their place of business and tell them thank you for supporting Dr. Don's Weather. Stay warm out there, my friend. If you're going out this morning, dress accordingly. This is frostbite weather. You don't need to take any chances at all. Be very careful. There are a few slick spots out there this morning. So slow down and drive with care if you must be out this morning. I'll see you back in here first thing Sunday morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather. Y'all have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.